What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode here at the Game Nights. You have Titan here, of course. I honestly don't think you guys expected anything less. Those other Game Nights are almost back from vacation, so don't you worry, they are coming soon. But you know what, guys? Today I woke up and I was kind of feeling myself, you know, so that's why I'm busting out the shirt and tie today. And there's also another reason. I was kind of thinking to myself when I thought about today's video, I was like, hmm... Heroes. What is the one thing that a lot of people think of or associate heroes with? I know I associate heroes with Mr. Jaden motherfucking Yuki himself and that badass, or at least for me anyways, that badass uh, Slifer Red Dorm jacket that he wore in the anime. I wish I had one. I would have busted one out for this video, but unfortunately I don't have one. If anybody does have one, you know, let me know in the comments. I uh, might be interested in buying that from you. But anyways, I brought the shirt and tie with the red and white. I figured that was a great way to honor uh, the Slifer Red. And yeah, guys, I am really excited to showcase this deck for you guys today. I really hope that you guys like like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, all the likes definitely let me know and let the rest of us know that you are really enjoying the content that we're putting out. Uh, and then also guys, check out our Facebook page. We do have a Facebook page now. The link will be in the description. Uh, that way you can also keep notified. And then of course, the best way to keep notified, hit that notification bell, man. Smash it if you need to do whatever the hell you want, but definitely hit it so that you are always notified when the game nights upload a new video. But with that being said, I won't waste any more of your time. Let's get right on into this deck profile, guys. All right, so let's get going with this profile. So to start things off strong, we play three copies of Elemental Hero Stratos. It's your boy Stratos, guys. I don't think this uh, needs too much explanation. Um, he is obviously the best hero monster, the best summon. Um, when he's normal or special summon, just being able to grab you any hero monster in the deck, which is just fantastic. Uh, and then also, if you need to uh, do some spell or trap removal, he does have a second effect where he can destroy spells and traps on the field up to the number of hero monsters that you control other than himself. So a very versatile card. Uh, like I said, I don't think I need to explain too much more, but definitely this card at no less than three. And then next, I play two copies of the Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. Uh, so this card is also pretty straightforward. Uh, this card has two effects as well. The first effect being that when it is special summoned, you can go ahead and add one change quick play spell card from your deck to your hand. It is obviously going to be uh, probably your mass change. If you play mass change two, you can get, grab that as well. Uh, and then it does have another effect that if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one hero monster from your deck to your hand, uh, except for Shadow Mist. Itself. So that's really nice. So if you need to really get your plays going, you can go ahead and Foolish Burial this card, and you do have uh, multiple ways to do it. And then go ahead and grab any hero monster that you need to be able to keep extending. So I don't think you need to max out on her. I think uh, having two Shadow Mist is more than fine. Then next, I play two copies of the Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. Uh, this card is also really good. This card is basically just your um, Goblin Bird of the deck. Uh, basically, when it is normal summoned, you can go ahead and special summon one level four or lower uh, hero monster from your hand. Uh, and then he also has another neat little effect where if he is sent to the graveyard by a spell effect. So if you go ahead and fuse, it, uh, fuse him with Polymerization, you can go ahead and target one hero monster in your graveyard and special summon it in defense. So that's a uh, really nice effect. You cannot target himself, of course. Um, but yeah, that's another uh, nice little effect just to kind of keep extending. Uh, then next, I do play one copy of the Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier. Uh, this card is really nice, another versatile card, just depending on the situation you're in and what you want it to do. Um, the first effect is when he is normal summoned, you can go ahead and uh, target one level four or lower hero monster that's in your graveyard and special summon him. So that's a nice little effect. Uh, and then the second effect, which is my personal favorite effect, uh, you can, uh, if this card is uh, used as a fusion material and he's sent to the graveyard or banished. Uh, so if you use your Miracle Fusion for instance, 
uh, you can go ahead and draw two cards and discard a card. So that's really nice. Heroes have typically never had uh, really their own like archetype draw power, uh, and this is the way uh, to get it. So it's really nice just to be able to dig a couple cards deeper into your deck and then maybe discard a brick if you happen to get one. Uh, so that's really nice. So I definitely think just having the one copy is fine. You, like I said, you could probably uh, bump it up to two if you want. Um, but yeah, I think one is more than fine. Uh, then I do also play one copy of Elemental Hero Burst Dinatrix and one copy of Elemental Hero Avion. Uh, there are a couple of cards in the extra deck um, that I play, and that will make more sense as to why these ones are in the deck. Then for the last Elemental Hero monster that I play, I play the Elemental Hero Honest Neos. So this one is also pretty straightforward. This is basically your battle protection. Uh, what he allows you to do is you can, as a quick effect, you can discard this card and target one hero monster uh, that is on the field, and it gains 2,500 attack uh, until the end of the turn. So that's a really nice effect. That's the main effect uh, that you're going to be using, uh, basically just uh, giving any one of your big uh, fusion monsters just even more attack points uh, to give that battle protection. All right, and then the next cards, they're pretty straightforward. I do play two copies of the Malicious. Uh, so this card is semi-limited, unfortunately. Um, it got semi-limited a couple of lists ago, I believe. Um, if this card was at 3, I would 100,000% be playing it at 3. It is so good. It is just one of the best extenders in the deck. Uh, definitely one of the worst cards to open with. It's not as bad um, now that you have um, the new Vision Hero cards. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, this card just allowing you to extend your plays is just fantastic. Uh, basically what he does is you can banish himself to be able to special summon another copy uh, of himself from the deck. Uh, so yeah, so definitely play the two. Then next, uh, I do play three copies of Vision Hero Fair, so now we're getting into our Vision Hero package. Uh, so this is by far the best Vision Hero for sure. So what Ferris does is that you can go ahead and discard one other hero monster in your hand and special summon this card uh, from your hand. And then uh, when he is special summoned, you can go ahead and place one Vision Hero monster card uh, from your deck to, the, uh, to your spell and trap zone as a face-up continuous trap. Uh, and the card that you are going to be putting in that spell and trap zone is the Vision Hero Increase. So I play two copies of him. Uh, so what Increase does is that when he is in that Spell and Trap zone as a continuous trap, you can go ahead and tribute one other hero monster that you control. So you'll go ahead and tribute that Ferris that you just summoned, um, and then he will special summon himself onto the field. Then, when he is special summoned, he has the effect to special you your Vion, and I play two copies of him. So Vion is your Foolish Burial of the deck. This is one way that you can send that... Uh, the Shadow Mist to the Grave, or you can send Malicious real easy to the Grave, or even the Liquid Soldier to fuel uh, that draw effect when you use Miracle Fusion. Um, and it does have an additional effect to, um, you can banish one hero monster from your graveyard and add one Polymerization, so it also gives you that quick access uh, to the Polymerization. Um, so yeah, so you only need to play the two Vion. So that's it for all the Vision Heroes. Uh, basically for the last hero card that I play in the deck, or sorry, monster card that I play, is the one evil hero at Dusted Gold. So yes, guys, I do play the evil hero package. I think it's too good not to play. Uh, so basically what a Dusted Gold does is you can discard this card from your hand and then add one card that specifically lists Dark Fusion in its text. And of course, that is going to be your Dark Calling, which you will see later on. Um, so that's basically all he's in here for, is just to grab that Dark Calling to make your Malicious Bane. All right, guys, that is it for all of the monster cards that I play in the deck. So before I go off into the spells, I just want to give a quick reminder to please like the video, uh, give us comments, let us know what you guys think. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Uh, we are just super duper excited to be able to keep giving you uh, this awesome content. I've been loving giving you guys these deck profiles. I really hope that you've uh, been enjoying me breaking down these deck profiles. Um, and yeah, there is definitely loads more content on the way. And like I said, you will be seeing the other game nights very, very soon. So with that being said, let me continue off into the spells. So first off, I play one copy of A Hero's Lives. Uh, so this card, pretty straightforward as well. I feel like a lot of the cards in the deck are pretty straightforward. It's a very straightforward deck. Um, but anyways, what Heroes Lives does is that when uh, you control no face-up monsters, you can go ahead and pay half your life points to special summon one level four or lower elemental hero monster from your deck. Literally, probably about 98% of the time, it is going to be the Stratos. 
Then next, uh, for some searchers, I play three copies of uh, Elemental Hero, or sorry, uh, E-Emergency Call is what this card is called. Um, but yeah, this card, don't ever put it uh, to less than three guys. This card is just too good. Uh, it's not once per turn. Uh, please don't ever put this card down to two. Uh, it's just too good. Uh, basically grabbing you all your Stratos and yeah, definitely just max this out always. Um, so don't need to say much else there. And then I do play one Rota uh, to just kind of round out all of our searcher cards for the deck. Uh, this one's also pretty straightforward. Then next, I do play three copies of Mass Change. So I do play a couple Mass Heroes in the extra deck. That's why this card is in the deck. And of course, I do play uh, Mass Hero Dark Law, which is my absolute favorite hero monster of all time, other than Stratos. Um, and yeah, I love summoning Dark Law. I think a lot of people like summoning Dark Law. Um, so yeah, definitely max out on the Mass Change. Uh, this card is also not once per turn. So if you have multiple Mass Changes, uh, you can have yourself multiple Mass Changes heroes so definitely play three uh then for my fusion spells i do play the one miracle fusion and the one dark calling so the miracle fusion being able to summon you your elemental hero fusion monsters using um things in the graveyard as fusion materials and then dark calling is basically the same thing but for your evil heroes so this is basically what you're going to be using to get your malicious bane out and this is what your dust of gold grabs then next I play the one copy of the Polymerization. I think that you only need to play the one copy of Polymerization. Uh, you can easily grab it within your combo uh, when you summon your Vion. So you only just need it uh, at one. And then there is a card in the extra deck that will allow you to recur this. Then next I do play one Monster Reborn uh, just because, I mean, why not? It is a fantastic extender. And for a combo deck that wants to extend, Monster Reborn is just one of the best ways to do it. Then next, I do play the one copy Foolish Burial. I do see a lot of builds not having this card at all. Uh, personally, I think that's incorrect. Uh, maybe if they want to cut it just to maybe save some space, that's fine. Uh, but Foolish Burial, just being able to freely let me, uh, letting me dump uh, Shadow Mist into the grave to be able to get that search, or maybe just to dump the uh, Malicious into the grave so I can use my other, um, you know, Foolish Burial effects like from my Vion to dump something other than Malicious, then cool, you know what I mean? Foolish Burial uh, gets me there. So I think that just playing the one copy is very, very optimal. And then, so next off for the next eight cards that I play, um, they are all going to be cards that really help me go second. So this is a deck that does like to go second more often than not just because of the cards that it plays. Um, and with the cards that are in the extra deck, they just kind of take uh, advantage uh, of their effects a little bit better when your opponent actually has things on the field to interact with. Um, so like I said, I play eight cards to kind of help me go second in today's meta. The first one being uh, three copies of Dark Ruler No More. Uh, so this card's pretty straightforward, just being able to just have a one card, hey, I'm gonna turn off your entire uh, monster effect board, like with one card and you can't chain to it. Well, this is the one. Uh, this card is very, very detrimental to a lot of combo decks, especially with uh, Dragon Link being one of the main combo decks of the format. You know, you play the Dark Rule No More, and you know, they, they sometimes cry, you know, a, a million tears. Uh, basically, they just can't respond to anything that you do, and then you can go ahead and just plow them through uh, with all of your hero monsters that you play. And then uh, the next couple of cards that I play, I play two copies of Lightning Storm. This card is bonkers, guys. Uh, basically being a Raigeki or a Harpy's Feather Duster. So um, if you control no face-up um, cards, you can activate one of these effects. You can either destroy all attack position monster your opponent controls, or you can destroy all spells and traps your opponent controls. Like I said, basically a Raigeki or a Harpy's Feather Duster. So uh, definitely, I would say play two. You could uh, play more than that, but I just for space, I, I just cut it down to two. I think that's more than fine. And then I play three copies of Infinite Impermanence. I don't think I really need to explain too much as to why Impermanence is in the deck. It is um, easily one of the best hand traps in the game outside of Cyprane Yama. So then for the last couple of cards that I play in the deck, um, seeing that this is a combo deck and you go through your resources uh, quite quickly within your first turn, um, sometimes that makes it really difficult to have a follow-up play. So I do play two copies of Pot of Avarice. Uh, so yeah, basically this just allowing me to 
uh, have some follow-up plays, just targeting five monsters in my graveyard and shuffling, uh, shuffling all five in and then being able to draw two cards. Um, so yeah, like I said, just being able to have that follow-up play uh, is really, really nice. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's go off into the extra deck. So <clears throat> the first cards that I play in the extra deck are the two copies of the Mass Hero Dark Law. Uh, like I mentioned before, this is my absolute favorite uh, hero card of all time. I absolutely love the artwork and I love what it does. Uh, just being a one-sided Macros Cosmos is absolutely fantastic. A lot of decks have a major problem uh, dealing with this card, uh, especially one of the, uh, the next decks coming up in the format as, you know, PK Fire with all of the new Phantom Knight stuff. Um, of course, we all know that Burning Abyss really, really want their graveyard and, you know, Dark Law just being able to turn off your graveyard is very detrimental to them. And even Eldritch too. Eldritch really wants their graveyard. Um, and yeah, just turning that off is fantastic. Uh, it does also have another effect that where if your opponent happens to search a card, you can go ahead and banish a card out of their hand, which is also another really nice effect. Uh, it's also really cute when you can have both of them on the field and you can go ahead and banish two cards uh, because the card is a once per copy effect. So that is really neat. Then I do play the one copy of the Masked Hero Acid. Uh, so basically what this card is in here for, there's a neat little combo play that I can do with Mass Change and um, Absolute Zero. Uh, so basically if you have Absolute Zero on the field and you have a Mass Change, you can go ahead and turn that water uh, monster into the Acid. Uh, when you send the Ab Zero to the grave, that will trigger the Absolute Zero's effect to destroy all face-up monsters that your opponent controls. Uh, and then that will uh, summon the Acid, and then it will trigger his effect. And his effect is that he destroys all spells and traps that your opponent controls. Uh, so that's a nice, uh, neat little effect, a uh, little combo that you can do. Uh, I've done it lots uh, to, my, to my friends and to people at Locals, and they have absolutely hated me when I've used that combo uh, just because it is a complete board wipe uh, and it's a very effective one so if it resolves it's uh, quite detrimental so definitely play the one copy of Acid uh, then I do play one copy of Mass Hero Blast uh, this card is really neat too uh, just being able to when it is special summoned to target a face up monster uh, and then have it uh, get its attack halved so that's really nice uh, just again going second being able to um, you know put some uh, more damage on the board uh, and then also it'll have a, another quick effect where you can pay 500 life points uh, to return one spell or trap card that your opponent controls uh, back to the hand. So that's a neat little effect if you want to get rid of some pesky field spells, like maybe say the Lost World for Dinos, uh, or some continuous spells or traps uh, from any other deck. Then next I do play one Evil Hero Malicious Bane. So of course you saw that I played the Adustic Gold. So this is the monster that you're going to be making with the Dark Calling guys. And this card is absolutely bonkers. It's one of the new cards that's really allowed heroes to really kind of maintain some relevancy uh, recently. Basically what this card does is that it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect. Uh, which is already pretty crazy on a 3k body uh, for a lot of decks to deal with. And then it does have a once per uh, main phase, you can go ahead and destroy all monsters that your opponent controls with attack that's less or equal to this card's, uh, which of course already has 3k, so majority of things are probably going to have less attack. Uh, and then also after it destroys those monsters, this card also gains 200 additional attack points for each monster card that it destroyed this way. So it even gains more attack points to become even more of a problem. Um, so yeah, so definitely play this card guys, it's just too good not to. Then next for another new card, or a fairly new card that we got that has really helped the deck out is the Elemental Hero Sunrise. This card's also really cool look and I really love the artwork on this card and I actually really love the artwork of the Malicious Bane too. Uh, but anyways, what the Sunrise does is, so the way you make him is you gotta make him with two monsters with different attributes, that's fairly easy to do, you have a multitude of attributes in this deck. Uh, it does gain 200 attack points and also gives all your other hero monsters 200 attack points for each attribute on the field, so that's really nice. More attack points uh, added to your monsters, again just kind of pushing for more damage. And it does have two other effects, so the first effect being if this card is special summoned, you can go ahead and add one Miracle Fusion from your deck to your hand. So that's how you get your Miracle Fusion. And then the next effect is that when an attack is uh, declared involving a hero monster that you control, you can go ahead and target one card on the field and destroy it. So that's a really, really nice effect. Uh, just always kind of putting pressure on your opponent uh, anytime there is an attack involved, um, like involving a hero monster. So when you're attacking them or if they're attacking you, uh, this card is going to be putting pressure onto them. And then next, 
I play one copy of Elemental Hero Absolute Zero. Uh, like I said, this card is in here for that combo uh, with Acid, just being uh, the water monster that you'll make with the Liquid Soldier in the Grave, and then using the Mass Change, or any other way that he leaves the field if your opponent somehow uh, just gets rid of it, well, he's gonna have to deal with uh, all of his monsters getting blown up. So uh, just that effect alone is definitely worth playing the one Ab Zero. Then I do play this little package, and this package is actually really nice going second. Uh, I do play the one Elemental Hero Grand Merge, and that will bring out the Elemental Hero Nebula Neos. Uh, so what Grand Merge does, uh, when he destroys a monster by battle, he can go ahead and tribute himself, and then he will special summon one uh, Hero Fusion monster from your Exo deck, ignoring his summoning conditions, and that is gonna be bringing out your Nebula Neos, guys. So what Nebula Neos does, is that when he is summoned, you get to draw cards equal to the number of cards your opponent controls. That is cards, guys. Like, every single card that your opponent controls, you are drawing one card for each of it. So if your opponent has, you know, four, five, six cards on the field, well, guess what? You're going to be drawing that many cards, which is absolutely insane. And then as an additional effect, it can also target one card on the field and negate its effects, guys. That is one card. So you can go ahead and even target himself if you want, just to even stop his own effect uh, from shuffling himself back into the extra deck at the end of the turn. You can even do that. It's a neat little trick. Um, but yeah, this card is just absolutely insane. Uh, and again, just having a 3k body on it is even better. So like I said, going second, this package is really, really good. Uh, and then another card that is really useful going second, I play the one copy of Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Uh, so this card... You know, it's it's still really cute to be able to make this guy uh, and then being able to, you know, swing into one of your opponent's monsters and then dealing damage based on the attack points that the monster had. Um, still really cute. And uh, honestly, who does not love that beautiful ultimate rare artwork of the Flame Wingman? A lot of uh, OG hero players, I'm sure, will really appreciate this. And then, so that's it for uh, all of the fusions that I play now going off into the Lynx. Uh, the first one being the Extra Hero Cross Crusader. So what this card does is that when he is Link Summoned, you can go ahead and target one Destiny Hero monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Then it does have uh, an additional effect that you can go ahead and tribute one hero monster that you have on the field and you can add from your deck to your hand one hero monster that has a different name than the monster that you tributed. So it's always going to be malicious, obviously, because it's the only Destiny Hero that you play. Uh, and then you can go ahead and add you any hero monster that you need to keep your plays going. Then I do play the one copy of the extra hero Wonder Driver. Uh, so Wonder Driver, this is the card that's going to be recurring your polymerization. It's one of the reasons why you can just get away with just playing the one poly. Uh, basically when there is a hero monster that is normal or special to a zone it points to, so the uh, down pointing arrow, you can go ahead and uh, target uh, one polymerization one fusion spell or one uh, change quick play spell card uh, and then you can go ahead and reset it. Uh, so basically just reoccurs those fusions. It does have another uh, additional effect where if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect you can go ahead and uh, special summon one hero monster from your hand. That effect doesn't really ever come up too much. It's really only the special summoning or sorry not the special summoning just the um, getting the polymerization back from the graveyard and resetting it uh, that you're going to be doing with the wonder driver. Uh, then next, I'm going to be playing one extra hero, Infernal Divisor. This is the other card that kind of makes use of the Avion and Burst into Tricks. Uh, so what extra hero, Infernal Divisor does is that when he is summoned, you can go ahead and reveal one hero fusion monster in your extra deck, and then you can add uh, two materials that are specifically listed on the card. So they have to be specific names, and that is why you play the Flame Wingman. So you reveal the Wingman, and you can go ahead for free, just easily adding the Elemental Hero, Avion, and Burst into Tricks. Uh, so basically you're just thinning your deck, it's card advantage, I always say deck thinning is deck winning, um, and then yeah, just being able to grab them and easily going into your Flame Wingman is really, really nice. Or you can even use them to go into Grand Merge, as Grand Merge takes uh, two normals. Uh, then, I play Extra Hero Dread Decimator. So with this card, basically all this one is here for is it just stacks attack points onto all of your hero monsters, uh, and then it also has the ability to give some piercing damage. Uh, sometimes, again, just since this is a going second deck, just being able to stack all those attack points based on all the hero monsters in your graveyard with different names is really, really nice. And then for the very final uh, card, or extra deck card that I play in this 
deck is the one copy of Cross Sheep. So this is my own little uh, spicy tech. Uh, I think Cross Sheep is actually really good in this deck. Keep in mind guys, you do have to make this card before you go off into any um, Vision Hero Ferris plays, as Ferris does lock you into summoning hero monsters. Um, so yeah, you definitely have to go into your Cross Sheep beforehand. Uh, but basically what Cross Sheep does, you will be using his, uh, his fusion effect. When you go ahead and make a fusion summon, and like let's say there's a fusion monster that's already pointing to his zone, or if you just make the summon and it goes to one of the zones he points to, you can go ahead and target one level 4 or lower monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So just another really nice piece of extension. So yeah, guys, that is it for the extra deck, and that is it for the profile. I really hope that you guys enjoy today's episode, guys. I absolutely love bringing out my hero deck profile each and every time. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, make sure that you guys comment, let us know what you thought of the deck profile, and let us know on what you want to see in the future, guys. I have been loving doing these deck profiles, and I keep wanna and I keep wanting to make more decks for you guys to showcase on the channel. So yeah, guys, with that being said, I really hope that you guys have an awesome rest of your day. And yeah, guys, till the next one. Peace.